Hello, my loves. My name is Gina. Welcome to your love reading. So I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. So let's see what we have here today for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please, Spirit. What do my Aries need to know today, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Aries, please. Okay. So, my loves, we have the Ten of Cups. We have the Six of Wands. Four of Wands in the reverse. The High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean Energy. We have the Devil card, Capricorn Energy. And we have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces Energy. Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra Energy. Aries, this is a major warning reading. Okay. Um, yeah, major warning reading. So what we have here, Aries, and again, take what resonates, leave the rest. You could be doing this to somebody or somebody could be doing this to you. Uh, Aries, I feel that with the Knight of Cups and the Devil card, you have somebody that presents themselves to you with a very loving and sweet attitude, maybe somebody that's romantic or kind or you know what I'm saying? It's a wolf in sheep's clothing. With the devil card, this person may have jealousy towards you, anger towards you. They might be cheating on you. Um, they might be lying to you. Um, I feel like with the high priestess and the four of wands in the reverse, I feel like secretly this is somebody that is looking to take your stability or secretly this is someone that is not a solid or stable person. Okay, this is not, a, and if you listen to your intuition, you will know this, okay? You're dealing with someone who's very unstable here. Someone that may cost you a home or a place to live. Someone here that if you make promises with them, they will break those promises. If you make an engagement, like if you get engaged to get married, they will break that engagement. Um, with the Six of Wands and the Ten of Cups, this person may already be in a higher level of commitment. They may already have a family. This is someone with the six of, of wands. It's a, a winning energy. It's a proud energy. It's a cocky energy. Okay. So this is someone Aries. And again, you could be doing this to somebody or somebody could be doing this to you. What we have here is someone's about to realize a painful truth with the two of cups and the queen of pentacles. This could be a representation that someone here has promises that are made elsewhere that they're going to keep. I feel here that, that, you know, and, and guys, this could relate to business. It could relate to love. It could relate to family. You know, you have someone here that's smiling in your face or Aries, you're smiling in somebody's face. Um, but secretly somebody wants to see either. Oh, okay. Wait a second. Someone is smiling to someone's face, but there's a lot of jealousy and a lot of anger, just very ugly energy secretly I feel like what's happening here is somebody is maybe could even be working magic or manifesting someone to lose a relationship or a home okay like somebody here wants something to end okay that there's there's uh, you know and with the six of wands and the ten of cups what's interesting here is I feel like the more somebody wants something to end the better off like the more it fuels the six of wands and the ten of cups the closer that couple becomes so Aries let's just say I don't know let's just say you have a crush on somebody right I, I just want to put this in a way that you understand. Let's just say you have a crush on somebody and this person's married, right? And, you know, you're kind of like obsessed with this person and you're just like always thinking about this person and you really just wish that, you know, they would leave their partner or something so that you would have a chance with them. It's almost like the more you wish that this person would remove themselves from that situation, the more 
that relationship excels. Like the more successful that relationship is, the more, you know, they get pregnant again. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, and, and the same thing with you, Aries, you know what I'm saying? If, if somebody here is wishing ill on your life, right or or they secretly want you to fail if they secretly want you to lose your home lose your marriage lose your family lose your kids you will come on top and and like you know what i'm saying it's almost like whatever ill wish this someone here has for the other person actually fuels success in that person's life it's interesting okay so moving on clarity guidance and love messages for my aries Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aries. And this is why it's, be, it's, it's important to understand and be careful with our thoughts. Because black magic, evil eye, negative thoughts, it's not always, you know, a bunch of people in black robes, you know, chanting around a goat's head. Okay? It do, it's not always that extreme. It's just the simple, your friend pulls up with a new car and you're driving a hoopty and you just kind of give it that look of jealousy. That one second, you know what I'm saying? That one second of a look, that's putting evil eye on somebody, you know? So you have to watch your own thoughts Aries you know because if if this is you that's upset or jealous over somebody or maybe you're a third party and you want your person's marriage to fail or something you know something like that right you know you have to be careful because it'll come back to you and that union will be blessed you see what I'm saying sometimes karma works that way you understand and that's why they say you know d don't do that because it comes back to you and that's what's happening here tell me about the knight of cups the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. There's someone here that's very stable in your life. You talk to them all the time. You've known them for a long time. There's stability. There's love there. Tell me about the double card. The Knight of Cups again. This is a wolf in sheep's clothing. This is someone that you meet up with, you might be friends with, you might have a romantic relationship with, you know, you're dating this person or something like that. And there's there's definitely that devil energy back there. Tell me about the high priestess. Five of swords in the reverse. Okay, so what's happening here is I feel, guys... Someone here may be practicing black magic. They may be trying to manifest. They may be using their spiritual side to win a fight or to win a spiritual battle or to try to get things to go their way. Five of Swords in the reverse. Spirit is on telling this person, whether that's you, Aries, or the Cross Watcher, give it up because that's not how spirituality, that's not how you win. Tell me about the Four of Wands in the reverse. The justice card in the reverse. What did I just say about karma? Libra energy. This is either you racking up very negative karma, Aries, or someone is racking up negative karma because they're trying to attack your life. So be careful with that. It's like the more you wish bad on somebody, the more karma will attack this person and not the person not the the person that's you know being the, the victim let's just call it the victim tell me about the six of wands seven of swords in the reverse this person it just they they um they they just get away free like like the uh, <laughs> it's so hard like sometimes when you want to explain something like let's just say you know god forbid i wish ill on somebody right it's bad karma that i'm racking up i'm gonna have this devil energy in me so i'm gonna be changed to rage and jealousy and you know very lower vibrational energies okay and the person that i'm hating on the person that i'm hating on just slides right by you know what I'm saying? And with the Six of Wands, they're they're doing good. They're successful, posting things on Instagram, posting things on Facebook. It doesn't phase them. You're not taking anything from this person. You're not taking one minute of their life away. Not one minute of their joy, nothing. Or vice versa, Aries. They're, someone here is not affecting you. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. 
the King of Wands in the reverse Leo Sag Aries energy. Someone is very jealous over somebody's relationship. They're jealous over somebody's life. They're very jealous of it. This jealousy is almost consuming this person. And the person that they're jealous of is getting away scot-free. It's not even touching that person. But the person that's wishing ill is consumed with jealousy and lower vibrational energies. All right? Tell me about the challenge here for Aries, please. Tell me about the challenge for Aries, please. Okay. So we have the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. We have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. So the challenge here is, Aries, that somebody feels vengeful, spiteful. They feel scorned. They feel we're dealing with a very bitter and hard person. With the Five of Wands in the reverse and the Ten of Pentacles, the challenge is to not be jealous of somebody's success, to not be jealous of, you know, because the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, this is a, a relationship or a situation where someone has love in their life, they've got finances in their life, you know, they have everything that they want and need. So the challenge here is, is to not feel bitter, to not feel vengeful, to not feel scorned over this person's success the five of wands in the room you know is jealousy uh, to not compete or to not want to hurt this person with the ace of pentacles and the eight of swords the challenge here is to get out of your head uh, to, to not you know to just leave it alone and start a new beginning to just shed off whatever you know i don't know maybe this person did something to you in the past aries and now it's hard for you to not want revenge or vice versa aries maybe you hurt somebody and now now you're living you know life and it's good and this person just smiles in your face but they really wish that you know your whole house would get hit by a bomb you know what I'm saying like you know so it's just kind of like this energy yeah you know where someone here is very bitter and the challenge is is to not be bitter to not be jealous and to just wish this person good tell me about the queen of swords in the reverse We've got the Emperor in the reverse, Aries Taurus energy. You can't control it. So whoever here, whether that's you, Aries, or this person, um, you know, the Emperor in the upright is in control, in control of their emotions. They're in control of their surroundings. This is something that's incontrollable. Like this person, even if they don't want to be mad, even if they don't want to be bitter, even if they just want to let go of all of these lower vibrational energies and just be free of it and move on, they can't control themselves. It's it's like it's like a burning you know what i'm saying like with that tower what i'm feeling is like every time this person tries to let it go and move on and do something else with their life it just comes crashing down and that core foundation is the anger the jealousy the bitterness do you see what i'm saying tell me about the five of wands in the reverse four of wands in the reverse the challenge here is somebody being jealous over somebody's home somebody's marriage somebody's family somebody's stability okay the challenge is to not be jealous of this tell me about the ten of pentacles please and the king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy with the eight of swords someone here is stuck in their head that maybe they should have that life that they should be the ones that they you know it should be them you know someone here i feel is doing very good in life financially well off you know they they just they have an okay life like someone here just is doing okay and they're someone that cannot control themselves they're very bitter hoping and wishing praying that the connection ends there's jealousy there's a sense of you know vengefulness and spitefulness yeah So I feel like, you know, with the Eight of Swords here and the Strength card, Leo Energy, the Magician, the Ten of Wands, and the Five of Wands, I feel like Spirit is saying, listen, be careful where your thoughts go. You know, try to refrain from, from thinking this way because what you're manifesting, the karma that you're bringing back into your life is nothing but being overwhelmed, jealousy, strife. Like you're making, you know, whoever this is, Aries, whether this is you or the cross watcher, you're making your own life harder. Hating this person, being jealous of this person, fighting with this person, you're making your own life harder. So whether that's for you or 
or the cross watcher i don't know but whoever here is in this lower vibrational energy you're not hurting anyone but yourself okay so let's see here Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aries, please. Tell me about the outcome here for Aries. The outcome for Aries. Yeah, see? Okay. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. The King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Under the deck, the death card. Yeah. So what's happening here is until you start speaking life, to this person so whoever here is doing bad whoever here is speaking or thinking bad until there's positivity and light and forgiveness and joy emanating from this person until there's true change here what's going to happen is with the knight of pentacles and the hierophant in the reverse that person is never going to have this that person is never going to have financial prosperity they're never going to have commitment in their life they're never going to have stability in their life they're, they're never going to have because what's happening here is somebody wants a marriage to end or somebody here wants um something that's being divinely guided to end do you understand what i'm saying aries so it's like you understand somebody here wants this they want this stability they want you know to have a, a husband or a wife or a, you know a children they want to have that beautiful stability of the the king of pentacles the thing is it's never going to come to them it's never going to come to them because you're not operating from your higher self you're not operating from a place of god you're operating from a place a place of lower vibration tell me about the knight of pentacles yeah, you have to heal, recover, and move on, or else your life is going to stay at a standstill. And that could be for you, Aries, or the per whoever here is wishing bad. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Yeah, Four of Cups in the reverse. You're going to keep missing the opportunity. You're going to, there's a missed opportunity to get married, a missed opportunity. Like, you're going to keep missing that opportunity to meet someone new if you don't let this go. The Hierophant in the reverse. Seven of Pentacles. Someone here may be thinking, okay, someone here is stuck in the past. There was a promise that was broken, a relationship, a marriage that was broken apart. Someone here is living in the past and they're living in their anger. They're wanting revenge. So there's someone here that is still very, very hurt by something that happened in the past. Okay. And if this person doesn't let it go, they are going to lose. And the person that is being wished ill upon is going to go off and live happily ever after. Okay. And so, so it's, you're never going to, you know, whoever here is trying to get hurt spiritually, it's not going to happen. All tied up and deceit. You see, someone here has their stomach twisted. They're, they're, they're just... That eight of swords energy. Someone here is a wolf in sheep's clothing. They smile, but they're 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 deceptive inside, and they're all caught up in this lie. See indecision. There is a choice that needs to be made. Do I want to take the high road, or do I want to continue on in this negative, low vibrational energy? Tell me about Aries, please. Happy success great achievement and your higher self Aries so you will only have success and you will only achieve your goals if you operate from your higher self you know you have to yeah you will gain hope you will gain hope. You will be able to start a life for yourself. You will be able to move on and move forward from this if, and I keep saying you, Aries, and I'm sorry for that. So whoever here is wishing bad upon somebody, whether that's you, Aries, or, you know, cross watcher or whatever, <clears throat> whoever's wishing bad here, if they let this go, clean their energy, cleanse their energy, forgive, make peace with it, and operate from a higher place, they will have success in their life. Until that, until they sit in this deceit and tied, they're all tied up in this, this wolf in sheep's clothing energy, their life is going to remain at a standstill. Okay. Clarity, guidance, love messages. 
heart to heart conversations in the reverse. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So Aries, this could be a situation here where the person who feels really, really hurt about what happened, they're not speaking their piece. Maybe it might be healthy for someone to sit down and have a heart to heart with this person and say, hey, listen, you remember when you did this to me? That should really hurt. You know, uh, you know, maybe it, it, it maybe it's time for you to open up. You got to love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And we've got wedding in the reverse. The situation involves marriage and codependency. So I feel like what's happening here is someone is not being honest about what's in their heart. Okay. Um, someone here, I feel... Because we've got codependency and wedding in the reverse, okay? So someone here is torn between staying angry and their self-respect, okay? Or allowing, or allowing this low vibrational energy to try to split up a marriage or... Do you see what I'm saying? Like someone here can stay obsessed about wanting a relationship to end. They can stay in that place of wanting a relationship to end. Or they can choose to respect themselves and wake up every day not lying, not being in that wolf in sheep's clothing and open up their heart and do the right thing. Okay? All right, my loves, I love you so much and take care. Bye.